Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2015, General Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, we've got a full moon happening in a part of the sky for you that is decidedly quiet, which tells me that, especially as we're starting the month, some of the most important developments that are going to take place for you are going to happen behind the scenes, are going to happen where it comes to levels of energy and emotion. It looks like you're resolving something, putting some fear behind you, facing some very deep-seated fears as well, and also deciding what is worth giving your energy to, not just in terms of your energy on a level of heart and on a level of emotion, on a level of mind, but also financially as well. What is it that you're willing to give your financial energy to? And what is it that is no longer worth the price? So these are very deep considerations. And again, mostly happening in the quiet of your own heart, in your own mind, and in your own time. So very behind the scenes process. You are forgiving more deeply, and more deeply putting the past behind you as you embrace the new and the next. What we also have taking place this month, and once we get to the middle of the month, the energy does change. It does look like on a work level you're busy. Mercury has been going forward and backwards, and now this month will go forward in a part of the sky for you that has to do with the workplace. It has to do with what's happening on a day in, day out level. And this is where I think a lot of power lies for you. As you've been busy, as things have been changing, it might have felt like people were, you know, coming and then going and then maybe showing up again and you weren't really sure who you were working with, on what project next, as you felt like you wish there was a little bit more clarity, you understand your schedule a little bit more. As all of these perhaps issues with scheduling were showing up for you in the workplace as well, as all of this was happening, we now are going to enter a time when you should start to feel like things are moving forward with a greater sense of clarity at that. You want to pay attention to what's happening right around the 10th of June. In some way, we'll hearken to what took place right around the 4th of May. And this is going to be when any questions that arose in early May will find their resolution slowly but surely. And once we get to the middle of the month and that new moon, that brings with it a fresh start in matters of work. If you are self-employed, this can bring to you a new client. This could bring to you a new work-related project or opportunity that allows you to feel that you are doing something that matters to you, you are starting something, you are planting a seed that you believe will create more busyness for you and create more rewarding work for you as well. What I also really like about what's taking place here is where it has been uh, matters of confusion, matters of what duties to do, matters of what the best way to move forward. You now will have the experience and a clearer understanding of what works and what doesn't. And that allows you to be that much more effective. So there's an element of experimentation, intentional or not, that has been taking place that now will prove to have culminated nicely, allowing you to begin again and to start fresh where it is that you need that. Now, for some of you out there, you've been experiencing this Mercury movement on a level of health. And so if you got, and especially while Mercury has been doing this dance, if you've got any kind of diagnoses and you weren't really sure, it didn't really feel well, um, this is a really good chance to set the record straight, uh, to get another opinion and to have things be a little bit more clear. And so when Mercury retrogrades in this particular part of the sky, sometimes a misdiagnosis can happen. Um, and now you should have much more clear energy going forward, especially with this new moon. It should help ground you to understand what you can do right now to feel that much better in the moment each and every day. What I love about this month for you is that it isn't just about what's happening on a level of body. It isn't just about what's happening in the day, but you're also thinking about what's happening on levels of spirit and emotion and energy. There's an understanding that as you free yourself from energetic states and feelings of the past, you can open yourself up more to the present moment. Not only is there a lot more power in that present moment, but there's also a lot more purpose as well. And now with the added sense of clarity and a fresh opportunity, you feel ready to move forward and move forward with that much more intent 
and that much more faith in absolute success.